God has me deal with that relates to uh, children or clowning. And he said to deal with people that are afraid of clowns. Now, almost everybody I've run into that's afraid of clowns as far as an adult or a teenager is, is because they watch the movie called It. Now, I can't tell you how stupid that is <laughs> to watch that movie. But if you watch that movie, what you did is you opened the door for a spirit of fear to come in. Now, um, anything that you do that causes fear opens the door for a spirit of fear. And the manifestation of that is not when you go, oh, that frightened me, but when you are actually fearful. The manifestation is, is you know, you see a clown and you get paralyzed or you just feel, have this horrible feeling over you. You terror, terrorize, you're paralyzed. Or a snake or a dog or whatever. Um, and that does not what that means is that a spirit of fear is there and it's not just a spirit of fear of clowns because when you open the door in one area you open the door for the devil in all areas so you're not just afraid of clowns you're afraid of a whole lot of other things that you're not aware of because it's the spirit of it's a, a, a spiritual spirit and it makes your body react and respond physically and the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear but love power and a sound mind so the opposite of fear is love power and a sound mind now he gave you all authority and dominion over all the power of the enemy there's no way that you should have a devil in you or attached to you uh, because you have power and authority over them uh, you need to tell the spirit of fear to go and to close the door and, and you don't get rid of fear by saying I'm not afraid I'm not afraid I'm not afraid I'm not afraid or with logical thinking a clown's not gonna hurt me I don't have to be afraid a clown's not gonna hurt me uh, the spirit of fear um, is in your thoughts is a thought pattern also so you have to speak God's words because words out loud have power over thoughts in your mind you have to get rid of that spirit of fear. You have to realize that God loves you and he wants you to have abundance in every area of your life. And that means not having fear in any area of your life. And he also um, wants you, you have love, power, and a sound mind. So your thoughts are what cause fear. Um, uh, not knowing how much God loves you and that he saved you and what he did for you causes fear. And not knowing the power that God gave you through the blood of Jesus causes fear. Now, in order to get rid of the spirit of fear, the first thing you have to do is receive Jesus. In Romans uh, 3 says, all of us have sinned. Romans 6 says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life through Jesus Christ. And Romans 10 says, anyone, everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord. You just say something like this, Father God, I call on your name. Come into my heart and fill me up with you in Jesus' name. Then you tell that spirit of fear to go in Jesus' name. It has no longer any right or any authority in your life. You get into the Word. Go to my website, robinbremer.net. It's a blog. Get my free material. Read my material about how you have power and authority over the devil. Build yourself up in the Word of God and, and just get strong in knowing who you are and the power that you have through studying the Word, getting God's presence and getting His power and get rid of that fear in every area of your life and start walking in authority and dominion. My name is Ribbon the Clown and I look like this, but it's really robinbremer.net is my website and I hope that blesses you and right now I just find that spirit of clown, of clown that fear of clowns and take authority over it and command it to go from you. And I thank you, Father, for this new believer and somebody who is in love with you. And Father, teach him how to walk in authority and dominion over the devil. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's it. I'm out and I'll